Good morning, y'all. Um, this video is going to be about how to build a transportation business in 2019, especially while Uber, Lyft, all the ride, uh, the ride sharing companies are out here. I'm down here in North Carolina. Now, specifically, this video is going to be about child transportation. I have a child transportation service that I've been doing since 2015. And uh, we continue to grow each and every year. This year, I plan on buying two 15 passenger vans. And, uh, our business has been doing great. Uh, and I just wanted to start a YouTube channel. I do other things on, on YouTube for as well as but I thought I would share my experience with transportation because I feel like everybody can do it. Anybody can do it, but there is ins and out things that I've learned uh, because I really didn't know how to scale a business like this and I had to go through some things. I didn't have nobody to coach me through it, but there's a lot of different transportation business you can do while movement, living through handicap. That's something I'm thinking about getting into. Uh, you can do schools. Down here in North Carolina, they have it where you can get a contract with the county and you can take kids to school with disabilities, you know, wheelchair. Uh, but then that means your insurance going to be higher. It also means you're going to have to have wheelchair accessible vans. But anyway, I'm going to make a series of videos on this topic. Like, subscribe, comment, you know, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Let me know if I'm talking too much. I mean, like, I'm new to this YouTube thing, but I know people are out here trying to uh, find ways to make extra money in 2019 outside of their job. I have a real flexible job. I work on my own schedule. So what I'm saying is you can do this business. You can... Once you get to a point where you can hire somebody, I'm at the point right now where somebody else can run my vehicles, but I still drive a route myself just to bring in the extra revenue. But this is a business where it's though when you're doing children, 10 months out of the year, you got some children that go all year round. You're only working maybe two hours evening. I'm just going to drop a few nuggets today. You can work two hours in the evening. Most schools get out of school at 2.30 to 3 o'clock. Mainly an hour and a half at the school hours. And if you got morning pickups and drop-offs, you might work an hour, hour and a half. But the thing is, if you got children... Maybe you should target that school that your child go to. That would be the first thing I do if you think about driving yourself. Advertise at the school that your children go to. That way, you won't believe how many parents struggling with transportation in certain areas just to get their children to school in the morning or to get their children home or to get them to the Boys and Girls Club. I ain't going to drop all my secrets on the first video. This is stuff that I learned. Or going to uh, at, the, at the school programs. But right now, my bread and butter is really one location. And right now, I'm trying to expand in all the areas of North Carolina just by hit me certain after-school programs, and you can kill it. When I first started this business five years, four years ago, it was only up in the area. It was only us and another company called Precious Chicago. And if y'all think I'm bluffing about my uh, company, look online. Y'all can find it. It's called Delicate Transportation. Delicate Transportation. Now you got about seven transportation companies in my area now. Because it's a gold mine. And I know it's like that. I will roll you areas or other areas too. But it's so big in North Carolina. Forgive me if I'm going around in circles, y'all. It's so big in North Carolina. I can't do Raleigh, Ghana, 
wait for us. But I'm trying to get to that point where I can go to Ghana. I got people calling me from Ghana. That's 30 minutes from my house. So, I mean, it's a big business outside of Uber and Lyft. People not going to pit their children in a car with a complete stranger. You got some people that will, but I know I'm not in no 2019. My kids ain't getting no car with nobody I don't know. So, when you're doing child transportation, maybe this video is the reason why you should do a child transportation business. You're going to feel like family to that mother or that father. They're going to appreciate putting you, putting that child in a car with you every day. Then every day, what? You you text that parent to let them know that their child got to school on time. You know, uh, you text them when you pick them up and let them know they got home on time. Uber don't do that. Uber ain't texting nobody. It's the hustle. They dropping that child off. They getting there. They getting, you know, getting their next ride. Not coming against Uber because, I mean, I drove for Uber sometimes here and there to make a little extra money if I didn't have no money, stuff like that. But this is why you should do child transportation. Now, there's pros and cons. That's one reason why you always going to win. People, parents are working two, three jobs right now. And they just don't have the time to get their children everywhere. A lot of times, you got single mothers that's doing a lot of things on their own. And sometimes, hold up, y'all. Sometimes, sometimes, you got a lot of single dads, too. I'm not just going to talk about, I'm not trying to just talk about dads. But a lot of times, we all know you got single mothers and they can't get their children back and forth to the places they need to get them. So that's where we come and play at, you know. Um, another reason why you should do child transportation. I already said hours, it's short hours. Um, when you get to the place where you can do employment, you know, you can just go with us. We go with usually seniors or elderly people uh, that's on, that get a check. Uh, if I pay them $200 a week, uh, that's eight hundred dollars a month. That's good for somebody. If you pay them like twenty dollars an hour for two hours a day or sixteen, anywhere between sixteen to twenty dollars an hour for two hours a day. A senior, I love that. You know, you put them on insurance. Your insurance ain't gonna go up too high. Um, they work an hour, hour and a half. You let them keep the van overnight, just in case they doing a morning run, so they can do the morning. They just had a van. You know, you had your mate, your. Uh, you had the vehicles clean every few days. Usually old people, they keep it up. And I don't mean like old, old people. I mean like people 50, 50 to 65 that can still drive. And $800 a month, people like that, that is a blessing to them. They already want a fixed income. You know, that's another reason why it's, it's, it's easy to find people to drive. Then you're dealing with older people. You're not dealing with these young people. That's careless when you when you can hire an older person. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I got people from right now, people from my church is going to drive for me, seniors. Uh, not really dealing with no young people. You know, not nothing against them, but uh, I I would rather, I trust older people, me personally. Because you, you're dealing with people, kids. This is precious. People, children. Uh... The thing, another thing, why you should do it, is because it's easy to do. You can start off with your minivan. If you got a minivan in the house, you can start off with that. You know, you don't have to start off with a 15 passenger van. I started off with this Honda Pilot I'm driving in right now. Now, this is a, uh, it can hold seven children in here. But say if you had seven kids going to one school in your neighborhood or on your way en route to that school you can pick up a few kids in the morning and you're getting $65 a week per child but you're taking your child to school anyway so you gotta go to that school you're just picking up a few kids along the way and you're getting $65 a week per child and you got uh, a seven passenger I'm just giving y'all a little rough estimate if you if you went with that went with that price. 
If you went with uh, sixty-five dollars a week one way. All right, so if you did that times seven, that's four hundred fifty-five dollars a week extra, and you gotta take your child to that school anyway. Four fifty-five a week. Now, commercial insurance, you gotta shop around. I mean, but in the beginning, if you feel comfortable, hey, that's up to you. You don't want to drive with no insurance. I mean, because you cover it on your personal insurance. If you if you got a seven pass, it's going to cover it. But me, I I go with the uh, commercial because we got 15 passengers or getting some more, trying to get 15 passengers. Um, So you want to have that million dollar policy that's going to cover you. And, and there's a lot of different insurance you can get out here. They got some crazy stuff out here that can cover it. They're getting out of the car. They fall, it'll cover everything. But I don't want to get in all that. I'm trying to stay on top of why you should do this type of transportation business. You're going to have children that's going to be with you over the years and you're going to continue to grow. So if you got a child, if you stick with it, that's what you were in first grade, that child going to be with you from first grade all the way up to fifth, fifth grade. Another thing you can do, another easy to bear. I don't want to drop all my secrets in one minute. You can sponsor to the schools. If you donate to the schools, give them a little money, they're going to advocate for you. They're going to advertise for you at the schools. That's going to get you more business. Now, you ain't going to make it take everything, but uh, if somebody run across this, this video, which I'm going to keep dropping some more, so I'm going I'm to name this one, Why You Should Start a Child Transportation Business in 2019. Uh, just send me some questions, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to come up with some topics to drop a few videos. I don't mean to make this video too long. I was trying to have it under ten minutes. I know I'm a little all over the place, but I'm gonna drop with like certain topics. And this one is why. And if y'all need want to know anything, I was just just hit me up, man. All right, y'all have a blessed one.